Okay, we're going to evaluate a trigonometric function. And what we're going to do is this here. We're going to find the exact value of the cosine of 75. So we're not going to go to our calculator and type in cosine 75, enter. So what we're going to do is this here. We need a formula. Well, and the first thing I'm going to look at is this here. X plus Y is 75. I need two numbers that add to make 75. And I want to use numbers probably for my unit circle. And looking over here, I'm going to look probably at the, what, 45 and the 30 because those will be values. If I use the unit circle, then I have my cosine value and my sine values at those values at 45 and 30. So here's what's going to happen. This 45 plus 30 is 75 degrees. So if I went back and look at my formulas, the cosine of u plus w is equal to the cosine of u, which would be in this case our first one, times the cosine of w minus our sines in the same order here. Well, here's what I really know. Basically, u is 45 and w is 30, so I'm going to find the cosine of 45 times the cosine of 30 minus the sine of 45 times the sine of 30. Well, if I go to my unit circle, cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2, cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2, sine of 45 is minus square root of 2 over 2, and sine of 30 is 1 half. And you can see how I've kind of color coded them right there to make them show up where they came from. And now I can multiply these, and what's really nice is this here. What's square root of 2 times square root of 3 is square root of 6. Square root of 2 times 1 is square root of 2. It's a minus, and we have it over 4. And because they're both the same denominator, I can write the problem like this. This is an exact value for the cosine of 75 degrees is square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. And we get it from this formula here. This is a sum formula for cosine. 